basics um, contouring tutorial. Um, I've had a few people ask me how to do this and I want to kind of show um, if you don't know how to contour, how to contour and the basics and what you'll need to use to do and achieve that look. Um, first I'm going to move my fringe out of the way because my hair is all over the place. Um, basically I have started by, um, I've started by putting my foundation on, um, I haven't concealed yet, I haven't done any of that, I haven't done my eyebrows but I've just got my basic foundation, which for that I did use, HD foundation by W7 which I find amazing for my skin tone and beautiful when it comes out it's quite flawless really great coverage and works wonders this cost me about £4 bargain right firstly I'm going to show you how to kind of conceal your face so first I'm going to after doing foundation you get a concealer it can either use a liquid or a um, crayon um, or powder. This is natural collection, the lightest shade I could find. Um, and first, I'm just going to conceal like this under my eyes. I usually find it easier if you do kind of like a backwards triangle there. Um, and then after that, you kind of pat it in. Some people use beauty blenders, but I don't really tend to use beauty blenders for this section as I find it's I don't know, I just I don't they don't really work well with me. <laughs> okay, and there's my concealer on the one side. And I'm going to start this side. So back Okay, to set the, um, the concealer, I use Get Set George um, Mineral Setting Powder, which I use the same brush, in and kind of just swoop down my face, and, uh, and kind of in the same um, section that you did your conceal. And this just helps set it and give it that nice matte finish instead of a wet finish. Basically all over where you've just applied the concealer. Next you take your contour brush, which you can get from any high street store, any beauty shop. It's got to be angled, so it's got like a kind of like a... But it's one's quite poofy, and mine was from Pro-Art. Um, so yeah. For my contour, I use Me Makeup Essential. Um, it's kind of like a bronzer um, palette. It's got a really good mirror on it. And I find it works really well on my skin tone and adds just enough coverage. So for this, you're, you're going to have to do cheekbones, which from your ear to your mouth, but you don't go all the way across in a big line because it just looks silly. I always start off darker here and kind of get a bit lighter, but make sure you darken this corner. I like to contour the side of my face to kind of make the face look a bit smaller. Same on the other side, under my neck on the bottom of my lip and down um, the sides of my nose um, and I'll quickly show you how that's done
as you can see I've got a nice little shadow going into my cheekbone and on the other side and it kind of makes your head appear smaller um, so yeah the final step is to highlight for this I always use my collection speedy highlighter crayon thing um, it's a beautiful colour I don't know if you can see it I swear but Bit of a, a bit of a shimmer to it, um, and what that does is kind of lifts your face um, and kind of lightens it. So I'll show you where you put this um, top of your cheekbone, where you've just above where you've done your contour, all the way down here, and you can kind of see that. Um, I like to rub it in just so it's less liney and more coveraged. More and on the other side, okay. And then when you've done that, you do your chin, do a big circle, and the same with that in top of your cube side. And I mean, you know. But then do nose, it makes your nose quite poignant, gives it a bit of a lift, um, especially if you've got a big nose like me. And yeah, it works well. So that's my finished contour look. Um, and that's how you contour. Um, if Soon I'll be doing a QA video, so if you want to put any questions, comment below. Um, any ideas for different videos, yeah, just comment below and subscribe to me if you wish to. And have a lovely day, everyone, and stay happy.